Hi everyone, my name is Maria and I work for the Pikes Peak Library District. Today I will be showing you how to make a phone holder out of items found in your house. Let's get started. So to get started, we need to gather our supplies. You will need scissors, a ruler, a marker, and a piece of paper. With the piece of paper, we're going to make our template so that we can make a phone holder. So the first thing you need to do is fold your paper in half as a hamburger fold. So go ahead and do that. All right, so your paper should look like this. The next thing we're going to do is grab your ruler. We're going to create a template to make it easier to cut out the cardboard. So the first thing you need to do is along the folded part of the paper, you are going to measure five inches. And then mark that spot. So this is the folded side, measure five inches and make a little dot. And then from that spot, you are going to measure an inch in towards the top. So let me show you what that looks like. So you want a line that is an inch right here. Now we're going to measure the bottom at four inches. So find four inches and mark that spot. So you want to mark, uh, measure four inches right along the bottom part of your paper. And then the next thing you're going to do is measure an inch and a half vertically from that dot you just made out at the bottom. So I'll show you what that looks like. So it's that line in between the one and the two on your ruler. So it should look like this. And then after you've created that one inch line, or one and a half inch line, we are going to put our ruler at an angle so that we make a almost triangle. You don't want a complete triangle, you're just going to measure an inch. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so you made a line and now just measure an inch and create an angle. And now we're going to connect these dots. So you should have something that looks like this. If it doesn't look exactly like this, that's okay. But you want it to look like this. So if you need those measurements again, this is what it looks like. Looks like I missed one. So if you need to pause the video and measure that out, go ahead and do that now. And then we will continue on. So now that we have this template, we are going to grab our scissors and cut it out. Now your piece of paper should look like this. And then once you've created your template, go ahead and find an old box or any pieces of cardboard you have lying around and make sure that your template will fit the cardboard that you're choosing to cut up. So I tore up an old cardboard box and this is what I will be using to create my phone holder. So now I suggest that you place your paper template on the bottom of the cardboard. That way it's less cutting. Cardboard is kind of hard to cut. So place it at the bottom of your cardboard and measure your template out. If you also put it in the corner, that's one less corner you have to cut. 
and then measure this out, or trace it out, sorry. Okay, so now you have the outline of your phone holder. If you don't want to make the template, you don't need to. You can measure everything out on the cardboard, but I find that the template makes it a little bit easier. And if you mess up on the paper, you don't have a bunch of lines on your cardboard. So now go ahead and pause the video and cut out your cardboard. So you should have completed cutting out your cardboard. Go ahead and grab your ruler and your marker one more time. We're going to measure the base of your card or of your phone holder at the four inch mark. Your base is eight inches, so find the four inch mark, mark it, and draw a line down the center. You don't necessarily need to draw a line down the center. It just it'll help you fold your cardboard in half. Then what you're going to do is place your ruler along that line and then um, hold down the ruler and fold your cardboard in half. So now you have a phone holder that was probably free to make. So enjoy, go and make yourself a TikTok video or YouTube video, or you can watch a video and you are all set. Okay, so now I will show you how to make another phone holder out of a cup. So you'll need a, a ruler, a marker, and scissors for this as well, and your phone. What you're going to do this is what it's going to look like. You are going to place your phone on the top of the cup so that both edges of your cup are hanging off the side. And then you'll grab your marker and careful not to mark your phone, but you're going to mark the front and back of your phone. Or you're gonna mark the cup, but you're going to use your phone to measure it. So, you want to have four small lines on the cup. It should look like this. And then we're going to measure down about an inch so you know when to stop cutting. So that's from the top of the cup down an inch. So do that to both sides. All right, so now we are going to grab our scissors and you're going to cut along the lines that you just created. Let me show you what this looks like. So you're going to cut around these lines here on both sides. might be kind of difficult around the top of your cup because it's folded down. But once you have done this, you are going to push these two tabs in. So now your cup should look like this. And now you're done. You created a phone holder. So now you can just place your phone in the cup. And as long as your camera isn't too far back, you will be free to make your future videos. So have fun with that. All right, and now for our third phone holder. This one's very easy, and this one's great for phones and tablets, but it is made out of an egg carton. And you can use any kind of egg carton. Uh, the good thing about these egg cartons is that they are compostable, so if you wanna use the extra, leftover parts, you can use that for gardening. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut off the top of the egg carton. And 
And then this one has a portion where you can close the egg carton. You can cut that off too, you don't really need it. All right, so now you should have the bottom portion of the egg carton that looks like this. Uh, this part that protects the egg is also what will keep your phone from falling over. Uh, so for this part, measure the device that you want to use as the holder. If you have a tablet, you might want to just keep this entire egg carton uh, as is. If you have a smaller phone where you don't need the entire egg carton, we're going to cut it down. But it's great for holding your phone vertically and holding your phone horizontally. So this is my finished product right here. I cut mine in half and this, and I painted it and this is what it looks like. So for a smaller phone like this, uh, you can just count one, two, three and cut this carton down the center. Which means you'll have to cut through these peaks and it should look like that. So, you can rest your phone right in there, it'll cradle it. If you are taking this outside um, to create a video or watch a movie if you're out during a picnic, you can find some rocks and place them where the eggs would go and it'll weigh down your holder, your phone holder and it looks great. Or if you're planning on using this in your house and you're chilling on your couch or in your bed, you can also use it to store uh, any jewelry you might have. So if you're done for the day and you wanna take off your jewelry, it's a little holder for anything you have. It's additional storage. Uh, another great thing that you can do with this is if you count uh, in the middle of where the A carton is, if you cut a V in the center, you can also cut a V in the back. You can use this as a charging dock for your device. You just put the charger through the V and then bring it down through the middle and you are good to go. So that is another phone holder that you can do. All right, and so one last phone holder that you can create is out of Legos. So I made this one. Phone can hang out horizontally or vertically. It's up to you. But this is also a challenge. I am challenging all of you out there to create your own phone holder or tripod out of Lego. And then show us your creations. Show us what you got. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your summer and have fun creating some awesome videos.